I teach in Earth Science Department, and uh, the one course that I've been doing a lot at uh, the grad, well, the fourth year level, um, is a volcanology course. And so the beautiful thing we did uh, over the last few years is actually bring in a, um, a role-playing exercise to try to get the students to actually feel what it's like to be in a volcanic crisis. There's no way to just stick with book learning and you know, lectures. Really, you have to be out there applying the, uh, the knowledge that you're, you're learning. And again, in this one exercise that we've done, but we do the same thing in all of our labs, it's a hands-on experience. Go out into the field, see what it's like to be a geologist, a volcanologist, and then at the same time actually take on the role of somebody um, to try to see, approximate what it would be like in the real world. We have laboratories and students are feeling, touching the rocks, looking at them under the microscope, and then uh, taking what we see in the class and in the laboratories out into the field. So this is the beautiful thing about BC is we have all of this amazing geology around us uh, all the way up uh, to the Yukon or just head over to, to Calgary. There's so much we can do. And so this is where we take the students, they get to see all of these things in the big picture, the big scale. We can be at the microscope scale, so very tiny things, all the way up to climbing volcanoes. Uh, we have to be out there looking at it, seeing these, uh, these different themes. Um, and so really, if you're just in there memorizing, looking at something in a, in a book in two dimensions, you're gonna miss out on that third dimension. Uh, and that's only uh, feasible if you, if you bring in the experiential learning, if you get the students getting the hands-on experience.